Hello to you all. My name is Maria Silta ja I come from the Jyväskylä University School of Business and Economics. A long name that we have a shortened for it called JSBE. I'm a tenure track professor in management and my research interests are particularly centered on social evaluation of organizations and then particularly emergence of sustainable markets. Honestly, I'm a bit of a person who's all over the place if something interesting comes along. But what mainly, particularly empirically, uh, kind of a strikes my attention or interest is various kinds of tensions, power dynamics, all that sort of thing that is going on in, for example, business society relations, within organizations, in stakeholder relations. So that's where I kind of uh, get my get my enthusiasm uh, risen. If I if I see that there is something you know really interesting ongoing that influences on the way people work or what sort of relationships they develop. Well, I think there is still a lot uh, that future research can do. Uh, my own interest has recently striven more to this kind of um, dynamics between the new emerging and the old, a bit like dying or categories in demise. And what sort of dynamics, you know, are ongoing between those two types of marketplaces and particularly what strives the death of uh, older the established market categories. With a lot of work, uh, sometimes you just don't get the story right uh, when you fir first try to kind of uh, carve out what's interesting in it. Um, then, then eventually you have to well, at least I have to do that multiple times to think, what is this really a case of? Uh, what is the framing that I'm going to use to ex kind of a tell also to others what's interesting in it? I have a bit of a bad habit at adding all types of nuances when I'm writing a story and then there's a lot of cleansing in the end, like stick to one story, don't like present <laughs> 10 of them to really, really get the theoretical contribution out. Well, that depends a bit. Um, I worked for years in multidisciplinary research projects. So I collect data and do analysis and write together with people who are not actually positioned in the field of management studies. So what we tend to do is that well, when it's my main responsibility to figure, to kind of a, uh, lead the process, I then focus on the management journals. And then some of my colleagues in other disciplines, they might want to, want to target uh, other journals. But sometimes it's quite complex to figure out, you know, uh, how, you, how you're going to publish these types of uh, works where there are different theoretical strands and um, lines of thinking assembled together. But it's also very fruitful, like um, we published one paper in which is about the emergence of a new food category in the journal of um, which was completely out of the scope I had thought about. And one of my colleagues then said that well, Mario, this is a perfect opportunity to show how one theory they use in this field doesn't work outside that field. And I was like, wow. So you get, get a lot of ideas and kind of a framing suggestions from, from the people you work with. And yeah, so I, I really can't take the credit by myself <laughs> where, where, what sort of uh, work I'm in the end. Uh, completing or s submitting to a journal. The 
we recently did a, I think, quite nice paper on uh, grandiosity, so-called grandiose branding. And we had a lot of difficulties in publishing that paper, particularly in terms of how we were framing it. So um, I think that might be something uh, that presents further future avenues to approach the kind of a grandiose talk organizations are intertwined with. There is great emphasis nowadays put on, you know, metrics and your perf performance as a single individual and how you achieve certain kinds, kinds of goals, what your CV as kind of a, how, how, how your CV looks as in, in the markets. And I know it's important, but um, there is something really valuable in the academia. We sometimes occasionally forget. And I think collegiality is something that we definitely should be emphasizing more uh, when we're talking about how to make a career in the academia. Um, at least the people I know ha who have been successful and with whom people like to collaborate with and I myself uh, like working with them, they have this uh, collegial kind of a drive in their work. They're, they're kind of aiming, aiming to help others put the field as a collective forward and are extremely helpful in uh, sharing and helping people with their ideas. So that's something I hope will kind of, be, that will, you know, be revitalized in the future again. 